these are, don't you? Yep, and we'll be giving no from this day forward to pleasing and appeasing. G'day, I'm Sharon Leanna, rolling out my weekly dose of unapologetic candidness. If you find yourself unable to say no, unable to set boundaries, then keep watching all the way to the end for my real raw take on how to stop people pleasing. And I'd be very grateful if you'd help me out by hitting that sub button too. We fear disappointing people, we fear people disliking us, turning their back on us. We begin this shocking pattern of people pleasing, telling others what they want to hear. Even if we begin dying a slow death inside knowing we are being untrue to who we are. We play their game to avoid confrontation, weakening our resolve to avoid indifference, being false to avoid conflict a full stop. We practice avoidance of pissing anyone off. So we begin presenting how we feel others want us to present in the hopes of making everything better to please and appease. We put ourselves in situations we don't want to be in, add fuel to our anxiety and apprehension, let ourselves down over and over simply so we do not another. We must learn to say no and bloody well mean it. How to quit people pleasing, how to set boundaries. Often we have memories from our childhood where we felt we had to tread on eggshells to avoid getting in trouble. We were not game to go against those of authority and their expectations of us for fear of reprisal. So we began silencing our real voice. We cause more detriment to ourselves and the way we allow others speak to us by not speaking up, by not stepping into our truths, taking ownership of all that we are. We try to avoid rocking the boat, keeping everything at a calm and steady flow, giving in to the pressures of others' expectancies, often assuming that everyone will overreact. Everyone will take our realness unfavorably. We shun our license to decline what is anticipated of us. We have every right to set boundaries with authenticity as to why we are doing so. Healthy boundaries are a good thing and the best defense when we are indeed dealing with toxic people. Some of us have an empath nature and we simply can't say no or we struggle with how to say no politely. We must remember we no longer have a limited vocabulary. We know all our words and we should be unafraid to use them. Sure we must use mindfulness if we genuinely do not want to step on toes or hurt people. But we can always find ways with how to deal with difficult people by ensuring we convey everything truthfully. If they cannot take our honesty, this should by no means be our problem. We simply must stop caring what other people think. Like really stop giving a flying fuck. We hold the power over how we say things, but we do not hold the power over how they will react. We can only express ourselves to the best of our ability, but we cannot be responsible for how they process it. Most people, thankfully, are quite versed in conflict skills, so it's rather assuming for us to expect that anyone rational will hate us or sever ties due to differing opinions, or by us merely exercising our right to say no. We often have this notion that a simple war of words, an argument, if you will, means another is intolerable of us. We live in fear of that disagreement being the death to our relationships. That's the case, then perhaps they weren't worth worrying about in the first place. They want to be that fickle, fuck them. We cannot live in avoidance of being forthright. We have to find ways to overcome fear of abandonment. Find the confidence to speak up for ourselves even when our knees are knocking. So often we think that anything we do should be done with others' approval. Without it we fear treading the wrong path and making irreparable mistakes we cannot amend both in life and friendships. The more we allow others to dictate to lay pressure upon us by giving in and surrendering to their desires and their beliefs, the more resentment we will begin to harbour 
within. The only way to really get our lives together is to confront the boundary issues. Because always trying to be Mr. Nice Guy or Ms. Wonderful who can't say no is unhealthy. Boundaries are imperative to a healthy existence and saying no when we need to. Stop being a Mr. Nice Guy or Yes Woman all the time is the best way to create those dividing lines. It's one thing to love others, but first you have to love yourself enough to set limits on your tolerations and their expectations. We all only have the capacity to give so much of ourselves before we become completely depleted. We must respect ourselves enough to quit the people-pleasing syndrome. The speculation that we are beneath others to the point of jeopardizing our own worth, our own standards to meet others. We need to detach ourselves from others' beliefs that we should toe the line on their opinions. Who died and made them king shit of Turd Island? We can no more control what others think of us than we can control how they react to us. But we can control how they dominate us. Harsh reality, we will always have people who think they're above us can't stand us. But really, we must ask ourselves what relevance these people have on our actuality, our lives. Probably sweet a fuck all. Give me a boom if you agree. People can think what they like about us and invariably they will, but that's merely their perception. Perception does not make it factual. It's just mere imaginings they have inside their heads. A lot of time what people think of us is merely a projection of whom they are Anyhow, their fears are their insecurities. So they point out our flaws, our shortcomings as a way to distract from their own. That's not to say we are devoid of flaws because as humans, that's quite frankly impossible. These jokers got fuck all right to be judge and jury on them. So screw them and the horse they rode in on. People that don't even know us will evaluate us and make shit up in their heads about us. But again, that's out of our scope of control. Whilst we could go on the defensive and try to change their opinions of us, why waste our energy on mindless rot that serves no purpose? We can't and won't make everyone approve of us like us and we have to detach ourselves from the notion that we can unshackle the chains of giving two stuffs about our relevance to the irrelevant. It's our life and we have to live it how we see best. And if that compromises relationships, perhaps we need to ask ourselves how healthy those connections even were. If we can go to bed each night with a clear conscience, then what others think or say about us is a pointless consideration. We can live our lives with approval, addiction, or we can find the confidence and belief in ourselves to know we don't bloody well need it. We have this misguided belief system that if we stop pandering to the needs and requirements of others, they will not like us. We must end the toxicity that comes with compromising who we truly are in order to people please enough, in order to acquire others' stamp of approval. Sometimes we have to let the wrong people go in order to make room for the right people. When we constantly feel anxious and like we have a certain standard to reach around somebody, then this is not the right somebody. Anyone who makes us feel lesser so they can feel more is not good for our soul. We must banish the stigma we create for ourselves on disapproval and comprehend the only person's approval we need is our own. Anyone who disturbs our mental peace stirs up agitation or feelings of inferiority is best left alone. But first we must ensure that these feelings are being sent out from them and not simply conjured up in our own mind. Awareness of self and love of self is the most imperative relationship of all. We are better to others and in our relationships with others. When we hold value for ourselves and our own feelings in a non-selfish way. Of course none of us are entitled to be a self-indulgent ass either, but it is imperative that we do not sacrifice our own happiness and well-being for those who could care less about how we feel. We should not sacrifice who we are to be who they want us to be. We must be willing to stand our ground and fight for ourselves, our values, our beliefs. We do not lose compassion or care for others by standing strong in all that we are, but we do lose compassion and care for ourselves when we allow ourselves to be shrunk into who we are not. We must not allow anyone to overcross 
our boundaries or cast condemnation or conflict upon us because we chose to draw a line in the sand of what we will allow. We must love ourselves enough to believe in all that we are and all that we bring. Even when we feel unlovable, even when we feel shunned, we have to break the habit of forever putting others first at the detriment of ourselves. Whilst yes, for the most of us, it's an awful thought hurting another, but we simply just cannot go through life hurting ourselves to please others. We must stop fighting ourselves, banish those thoughts in our minds that we are beneath others. Our entitlement to be fulfilled is just as much as theirs. I personally love making others happy and I'm sure that goes for the most of you too. There is absolutely nothing wrong with the desire to make others happy. Pleasing others is not the problem, but rather when pleasing others comes at the expense of ourselves. We can please ourselves when pleasing others, then that is a win-win situation. When making others happy makes us happy too. People pleasing is not in making others happy. People pleasing is altering whom we are in fear of another person's reactions. When others wants become a detriment to our own needs and well-being. When doing what we don't want overrides what we do want all the time. When our own feelings are never taken into account. That worry of rejection, that desire to be needed to be praised at any cost. When we are constantly sticking our neck out for those who barely give us a second thought unless it serves their own purpose. Life is about balance and compromise. If you have a healthy relationship and a healthy balance of making each other happy, then that is a good thing. If you'd like that weekly dose of empowerment, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss my next one. And for those of you who already have and regularly engage, I'm so grateful to you all. While you're here, you may as well give it a thumbs up too, and I'll link my playlist below. We cannot go through life molding ourselves into whom we assume others expect us to be. To please others by being exactly whom we are is when we are winning at life. When we give ourselves permission to shine and grow into all we can be. Confident, alive, vibrant and bold. Free to be you, free to be me. Number